In this video, I am going to show you how to create this natural looking, soft and glamorous smoky eyes. I'm using Wet n Wild products for this makeup tutorial video. Wet n Wild is 100% cruelty free and affordable cosmetic brand. First, start with a clean face with your usual skincare routine. Primer. I genuinely love this primer because it smells so amazing. And it's a serum base, meaning it doesn't feel greasy or powdery after applying it on your face. It helps to hydrate your skin before any of your makeup application. Dark Circle To reduce the uneven skin tone around the area, use color corrector as the base before applying the concealer. As most dark circles contain some green and blue undertone, using the right color corrector will help to neutralize the undertone before applying the concealer. For the concealer, I happen to have two shades which are light and medium. As for my skin tone, it's somewhere in between. So I decided to mix both of them together. Why not? For the foundation, I'm using Wet n Wild Photo Focus Liquid Foundation with medium coverage which help to even out the skin tone and still feel quite light on the skin. Nothing feels better than having a good and even color skin tone. I'm using this clarifying finishing powder to set my liquid foundation. It's a lovely finishing powder with vegan collagen, tea tree and vitamin E. I always like to do my eyeliner first before applying any eyeshadow. The reason for that is because eyeliner can really change and enhance the shape of your eyes. By defining the shape of your eyes first, it can give you a better idea of where and how you should apply your eyeshadow. Always sharpen your eyeliner as it is much easier to draw the shape that you want. I always start the eyeliner by drawing the flick line at the outer corner of the eye then connect it back to the inner corner of the eye. Remember to fill in and darken the lash line area. For the eyeshadow, I'm using Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette called Nude Awakening. What a lovely name. What I love about this eyeshadow palette is its warm neutral tone colors, great pigmentation which is very easy to apply, just a little bit of product goes a long way. Follow by a darker maroon brown for the outer corner of the eye. The only skill that we need to focus here when it comes to eyeshadow is really the blending skill. Blend it until you cannot see the gap between two eyeshadow colors. That also includes the top edge and the bottom edge of the eyeshadow area. A very useful thing to do is to use a clean brush to blend the edge so that it gives a smooth transition without looking patchy. A bit of eyeliner at the bottom of the eye Starting from the outer corner of the eye to the inner corner area, smudge it with a clean brush to smoothen the color. Black eyeshadow at the outer corner of the eye just to give it a bit of smoky effect. Again, blend it well. Glitters. I love glitters. I'm using this beautiful glittery cream eyeshadow for the inner corner of the eye. I love it. False eyelashes. 
I'm using natural type of false eyelashes as I don't want the lashes to overpower my eye makeup. False eyelashes helps to open up your eyes but some of them can be too much, too heavy, which all you can see is the fake looking lashes. Not the look that we are going for in this video. I'm using this Boost Me Up Brow and Lash Serum Gel for my eyebrow. It's a revitalizing serum gel contains nourish ingredients that hydrate your eyebrow and lashes. There are many types of smoky eyes. If there is one smoky eye makeup look which can go with any color outfit for any occasion, plus it will suit almost any type of eye shape, this is the one. Lastly, I'm using the Mega Clear Eyebrow and Eyelashes Mascara for my eyebrow. Hope you liked the video, and if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up and consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel, as I will be posting new video weekly. I'm also on Instagram, so do feel free to connect there. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.